If you're wondering how it's possible that 10 gift cards worth a total of $500 can be worth nada, you might want to stick around and watch this video. They are the culprit here. Someone at Target took advantage of you and the gift cards. It wasn't someone at Apple. You know, I would strongly suggest that you do everything in your power to uh, make sure Target realizes how upset you are about this because they have defrauded you. That would be up to Apple. That is their system, and if their cards are being compromised, they would be the ones that would need to go and take care of this for you. So Target right now, uh, this week, uh, is offering a promotion uh, as they do every time this year, where if you buy $100 worth of Apple gift cards, they give you a Target gift card of some value. The problem is that a lot of people will buy these gift cards, these Apple gift cards, take advantage of that promotion, and then when they go to redeem the Apple gift cards, they find out that the Apple gift cards are empty. In my case, I purchased last year uh, $500 worth of Apple gift cards uh, because I wanted to take advantage of that promotion to get, for every 100 I got a $20 Target gift card. I go to Target a lot for either groceries or whatever I'm shopping for. It's in walking distance from, my, from where I live. And, and so, um, you know, to me, that's almost like getting cash back, right? So it cuts down the cost of those gift cards by 20 bucks. So now it's like, you're really only spending $80 and you're getting a hundred dollar gift card. It's a good, seems like a good deal. And uh, I did that last year because I was planning to get a new iPhone. And so I wanted to try to save a little bit of money any way I could. And that seemed like a good way. Uh, anyway, when I went to subsequently redeem the gift cards, I found out that all of them, uh, that's five, again, there were uh, 10 $50 gift cards. They were all empty. So if you Google this, if you Google like tar Target Apple gift cards empty or empty Apple gift cards Target or whatever, some combination thereof, you're gonna find a whole slew of results. You're gonna find like uh, pay Apple support pages of people talking about this, class action lawsuits. You're gonna find, there's like a TikTok video about it. You're gonna find uh, news stories about it. A lot of people have lost a lot of money. Some people lost even more than I have, which is pretty insane. And this goes on year after year after year, and neither Target nor Apple do anything to change this. They have made no additional efforts to secure the cards. So the point is, if you go and take advantage of this promotion right now, you are no more secure than anyone else. You may buy these gift cards and then find out after the fact that whatever money you spent, it's gone. I found out in my case specifically, for example, that the gift cards were drained, all 10 of them, one in as short as five minutes from the time it was purchased at the register, and I think the longest period was 30 minutes. They were all drained within five to 30 minutes from purchase, which means the only way you could buy these Apple gift cards from a Target and be sure that it's not going to be uh, empty when you go to redeem it would be basically to like buy it at the register and quickly open it up and go to redeem it immediately. Do not take advantage of this promotion. You could, whether you're getting the gift cards for yourself or giving them as holiday gifts to somebody else. I mean, imagine that by the way, you give these gift cards to somebody and then they go and open them and go to redeem them and they're empty. You will be mortified. Can you imagine the embarrassment of that? Somebody posted about this and they explain how this happens. A scammer removes the scratch off field on the gift card, reads the code into a database, covers the field with a lookalike sticker and puts the card back on the shelf. A system checks the balance of the code on the codes in the database continuously and as soon as the card gets activated at the register, the scammer spends the balance. 
it's usually a big pain to get your money back as Target and Apple both point their fingers to each other. And on that note, let me just say that is exactly right because I have pursued this case to the, <laughs> to the nth degree. And basically, Target will tell you, hey, not our problem. We activated the cards properly at the register. If they're empty, that's on Apple. You got to contact them. And Apple will tell you who'd you buy the cards from, who'd you give your money to, Target. Target's the one responsible. You have to go to them. And again, this is nothing new. They know this is going on. You lose 20 bucks, you lose 100, you lose $1,000, you're on your own. All right, as far as they are concerned, the cards are treated like cash. An empty gift card is no different than finding someone stole money out of your wallet. You're gonna to be told that there's nothing they can do and they can't refund your money. That's a lie, by the way, because they can, they just don't want to. Every time someone gets the news involved, suddenly refunds magically appear. But the fact is the odds of a positive outcome are close to zero. And even if you get your money back, you're going to find, as I did, that the amount of time and effort that you put into that reimbursement has far outweighed any monetary benefit, I can assure you. In the case of Target and Apple gift cards, you've got two mammoth companies, okay? Well aware that these cards are not secure. And after years of people being defrauded, there have been no attempts, at least that I'm aware of, to rectify, nobody could tell me, I've spoken to a lot of people from both companies, nobody could identify any attempts to rectify the situation, which is beyond incomprehensible, okay? Target could, among other things, put the cards behind glass, they could provide actual cards at the register in place of dummy cards that are put on the floor displays, there are, those are just off the top of my head. There are things that people could attempt to do, at least, to try to secure these, and they're not doing anything. And Apple, by the way, Apple, come on. You're telling me that a company that prides itself on the security of its products can't figure out a more secure solution for gift card redemption? My advice is this. If you want to it go forward and get these gift cards in spite of this warning. If you want to protect yourself, you should consider some of the following options. Number one, buy gift cards directly from the merchant. They're less likely to be compromised. That means you won't be able to take advantage of that Target promo. Sorry. Number two, buy electronic gift cards rather than physical ones. It does appear that they are slightly less vulnerable to attack. Is that 100% of a solution? I don't know, but it might help. And luckily, Target does offer this promotion if you buy them online as well, uh, electronically. So that is a possible way to be slightly more secure. Number three, buy your cards in small denominations. I also bought $25 Apple gift cards, and those were not drained of their funds. Those were not redeemed. So apparently... $25 is not worth anybody's time, I guess, is what it amounts to. Uh, $50, though, is. that Then you become a target, no pun intended. If you buy physical gift cards for yourself, as I suggested earlier, if it's an option, redeem them and save them in an online account uh, the moment you pay at the register. Because even four minutes later could be too late. And finally, my final suggestion... Just buy gifts and forget the gift card thing altogether. Happy holidays.